Hello, Pastor Brian here, and I have a very special guest with me uh, today. Happens to be my son, Tim, and uh, I want you to meet him because he is going to here and there once in a while be uh, sharing a podcast with us on True to His Word. And so I wanted you to meet Tim. He's been a very special part of my life for quite a while. So, uh, so Tim, welcome and, and tell us about yourself. Thanks, Dad. Thank you. Well, everybody, yep, um, I am number five of six. Uh, came from, uh, from this man and, and, and my mother and um, was raised in Truckee and born and raised in Truckee and moved to Southern California and bounced back to Truckee, you know, a little bit later in life and uh, served with my dad for a couple years on staff there at Calvary Chapel Truckee, which was just one of the best times in, in my life. Um, felt a real strong calling of the Lord to, to move on to Southern California and where we are right now. And um, it's not my house, but, you know, we're in Southern California and <laughs> been living here for the past almost 20 years now. And um, and yeah, it's uh, it's 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 been a, a wild, a wild ride. But God is good. God is faithful. Um, I'm married. I have the most wonderful wife and we've been together for 11 years. Um, we have six kids between us. Um, four for myself, two from my wife, Sonia. Um, and so we had a, a pretty wild household for, uh, you know, the past 10 years, uh, nine years. And then kids started growing up and moving on and moving out. And um, we're down to a pretty small household now. Uh, <laughs> just uh, just two remain at home right now. And uh, it's, it's, it's a blessing. But that is uh you know a huge part of who i am and uh but the most important thing in my life is my relationship with jesus and man i love his word i love his word and i love his word because it's not just like you know great stories and, and wisdom which you know a lot of people look at the bible oh jesus was a great teacher and things like that um but it's bigger than that. It transforms your life. It awakens the soul. Um, it has done that in my life. I've seen that happen in countless other lives. And even when there's just been tough times, and as I get to share with you guys a little bit, you know, and you guys will get to understand my testimony and I'll share things about what's going on because life takes place. You know, life isn't easy. Life gets tough. Sometimes tough things happen. Sometimes you have to deal with repercussions of Bad, situ uh, bad decisions. Um, and, you know, I, I lived through all that. And, uh, but you know what has never changed? The faithfulness of God. The faithfulness of God, His faithfulness to forgive, and His faithfulness to be there with you, no matter where you are, no matter what you're going through. One of the most powerful things to me is that no matter what happens in life, like, it doesn't change the cross is still there. The cross happened. So no matter what situation you get yourself into, all the different places I've been, the bad decisions I've made where I've just been like, what happened? But then I look to the cross and the cross says it's done. It is finished when Christ went there and it's empty. So it, it, it's finished. It was, we're forgiven, we're washed, but then better and greater than that, is the resurrection that you know my dad got to go a little bit in detail with you know last you know about a month ago or so and just power there so guys i'm so excited to be here i really am i'm excited um, i'm excited to share things with you as the lord just kind of places things on my heart and uh you know go on this adventure it's gonna be adventure it's gonna be fun um so hopefully uh you know i can just come alongside and pop my face in every once in a while and when my dad's busy doing something and, you know, share the word of God, bless your hearts and encourage you to look to the cross, understand the grace of Jesus and, uh, you know, be set free, walk in freedom, walk Amen. in power. Amen. Praise God. Amen. He's good. Amen. Amen. You can see why I'm excited about having Tim on board here. I've always known 
there's been a special gifting and a special calling in his life. And it's so good to be able to share this ministry with this young man who, uh, whose love for the Lord is genuine and whose commitment to the Word of God is genuine. Uh, you know, I've always looked at Tim uh, in all the growing up years and everything as my spirit-filled son, uh, just right from the beginning. I mean, in kindergarten, uh, around the lunch table, he would lead the kids at his table in a in a in a prayer, uh, thanking God for the food, and <laughs> and uh, he just he was always very open and bold about his faith in Jesus Christ, and I've seen that faith carry him through. So uh, it's great having him aboard. Excited to hear what uh, he has to share once in a while, and uh, so uh, we're gonna we're gonna be blessed. So this has been great. I wanted you to meet him and. Uh, we will be uh, talking again to you soon and just sharing how wonderful the Lord our God is. And I just want to remind you in closing that uh, Jesus himself said to all of us who, whose faith is in him, simple as that, faith in him, he said, uh, I will never leave you. I will mm -hmm. never leave you, mm -hmm. nor forsake you. You know, that says that he, he, he'll always be there. He's always right there. He'll, he, he'll never desert you in any way. And uh, when it says, I will not forsake you, I mean, he's there in a positive, effective, I care about you, I care for you, and I'm with you, and I'm there to carry you through all the way. That's, he won't forsake you. So you can bank your life on that every single day of your life. So with that, uh, have a good day in the Lord, and we'll talk to you soon. God bless. See ya. My